Welcome to the Electronic Gadgets channel and today we're going to have a look at the Microsoft Sculpt mobile keyboard available on the web for around twenty to thirty dollars depending on where you buy it I paid twenty two dollars I believe on eBay from a seller in Toronto but um, it is as expensive as forty dollars on some websites and uh, frankly uh, don't pay more than 25 bucks let's say for it because it's not really worth much much more than that so uh, the reason I bought that is because I wanted to have some easy way to actually interface with my Windows tablet here using Bluetooth and you know by using Bluetooth you don't have any dongles to put on the lap on the computer itself it is quite nice for that and actually also surprised I've got an Apple TV and I've got an Android box both having Bluetooth and I can actually type in the Apple TV and even the Android box using this keyboard so it's pretty universal works with pretty much all devices so uh, it is a small keyboard very thin as you see here Edge On is very very thin as a keyboard it comes with two AAA batteries sorry that you uh, put here at the top here's a battery compartment so it's not rechargeable it comes with two uh, it was the Energizers um, Alkaline AAA and it's very easy to pair actually I've uh, paired it with pretty much all the devices I have with Bluetooth and it works really flawlessly all you have to do is turn it on and here right next to the power button you have a little uh, button that you use uh, pointed for example you know the tip of a pen works well you click on that and your keyboard becomes discoverable so it can be seen in Windows Max and uh, pretty much all devices was very easy to pair I mean this is a no problem pairing keyboard all you have to do is pair then when the device detects it and wants to pair with it it gives you a code all you have to do is type the code on the number number keys and that's it it works so for that it's fantastic now it is inexpensive and I mean for the price it's okay but um, one of the things that is kind of weird is its design as you see here it has a little um, it's kind of you know round shaped and that makes for some of the keys here in the, in the middle wider than the ones on the edges and you know what that's kind of weird and even I'd say dumb for Microsoft to have done this because it, if, if you're really used to typing with a keyboard the problem that comes here is that we do have you know a tendency to get our um, typing in a specific way and so when we're used to a keyboard that has the exact spacing you know without even looking at the keyboard often you will type and the fact that the middle keys are a little wider than the edge keys does make it awkward to type and actually um, I don't recommend this keyboard for anyone that would use it for extensive typing if you are writing a book this is not the keyboard for you that's for sure but the fact that it's thin and very light uh, it's very very nice for a portable device and I mean if it's just for typing a little bit of things you know I'm not using this for typing text in Word I'm using this mostly for um, you know typing text into the search box in a device or just you know typing on, in Google for some searches and stuff like that so for that it is a good keyboard you know I mean this is a simple keyboard to use it's not expensive works extremely well with the Bluetooth no dongle to put on your, the computer itself so if it's just for you know searching or you're searching for a very light thin keyboard for everyday use here and there on different devices around your home that are Bluetooth it's it does that job quite well 
but I must say, if you are going to write uh, really long texts or write a book or anything like that, well, that's not probably the good keyboard for you. Uh, there are better choices out there. And you know what attracted me is mostly the price, uh, having it at about $22. Uh, that made this keyboard very interesting. And actually it was 22, I believe it was 22 Canadian dollars, which, uh, you know, makes it not even at 20 bucks in the US. So, uh, you know, these are the, the good side of this keyboard. And it does the job, you know, it works really, really well. Uh, it's very glossy on the, um, you know, around the keyboard, the black is very glossy. And one thing that I've noticed is if you are really getting, um, you know, annoyed at keyboards that actually have stains and are easy to actually uh, maybe scratch a little, this keyboard is pretty sensitive. And actually in a PC World uh, review of this keyboard, they said that that glossy finish is actually a problem for that. Apart from that, it also has a little light, so when you actually turn it on with the power button, uh, what you do is you simply have to, um, I think the power, this, no, this is the keyboard, so this is the power. It has a light here on the upper right corner, so when it's paired to a device and you type, it actually has a light that blinks to show you that it's doing something and it's actually working. Well, of course, uh, it is in the standard um, Bluetooth distance, so uh, you'll type, you know, within a room, for example. And uh, like I said, it does quite well the job that it's made for. But um, if you are really going to use it extensively, this might not be the good keyboard for you. So um, another thing, keys are not backlit. So in the darkness, of course, you'll need a light. This is not backlit. And uh, the feel of the keys is actually good. But the problem I have with it when you're typing, because the feel of the keys is very nice, like a very, very nice keyboard. Uh, the problem with this keyboard also is the fact that it's a little out of shape. So you have like, you know, you see here, it actually has a little, uh, it's, it's a little lifted a little bit in one of the corners. So when you type, that might be annoying, but when you actually rest your hands on it, it's not that much of a problem. So like I said, for, you know, uses here and there with different devices, it, it, it does the job, but if you're a writer or if you really type a lot on your computer's keyboard, that's not for you. Um, avoid the Sculpt Mobile, it's not good for long-term use, that's for sure. If you enjoyed our review, why not subscribe to our channel? I mean, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions about this keyboard, ask away, and hopefully you enjoyed the review and it helped you maybe choose something else if this one didn't do the job for you. And uh, hopefully you will uh, take a look at our other videos. And by the way, just before we end, this keyboard is um, designed a little bit with uh, Windows 8 in mind. So uh, it has some hotkeys pre-programmed for Windows 8 and that worked pretty well uh, immediately as you uh, use this uh, keyboard with any Windows 8.1 device. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.